No more than that. Radagani come to the Yes. Pardon. 
Sinafikia mziki. Alafu na bado kuna 50 participants. Nawezi anza tukifika 100 participants. She's like my crush. I, I meant to, yeah, you're like my crush. I haven't told you that. So yeah. Anyone hearing me? Adrian Mwangi. Yes. Hello, Mom. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. You mute Hello. yourself. Mute yourself so that it is clear from everyone. Mugo, mute. Hello. Yes. Now we are going to start. Mugo, mute. I'm muted. And then there is a no, you have not. I can see you. Even a <laughs> coach. Coach mute. Mugo mute. That's fair. Can you hear me? Let us start, Mugo. Mugo, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Mwalim. Ah, yeah, sasa mute tena. Now it is okay. We are soon starting. I want I want to get the clips. Sukulin Yone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you need his order. Quantaka. The whole thing is like you pins in your mouth. 
misses. That we see in this. Unmute yourself, sir. Make sure you mute. Amen. Walimu, walimu. Can you meet yourself? There we are now. We are starting. We are starting. Are you ready? If one of you is ready, say yes. 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 Are you ready? So, yes. Habari ya corona ni ukae na habari. Haina habari. Haina habari. Kopoa. Ujipinge. Sawa. So, we are Sawa. thin lenses. So, thin lenses, we are going to look at three things today. One, definition. Two, yeah, you mute now because I've started the lesson. Three properties of lenses. Okay, so we are, I'm dividing lesson one into three parts. Now, let us look at definition. Let us look at definition. Let us look at definition. Yes, I think that is better. It can be big enough. So we are going to definition. Lenses consist of pieces of glass of thickness varying from the middle to the edge. 
with the spherical surfaces on one or both sides. So try to visualize first what is lens because you have to look at it at the back of your mind. Pieces of glass, pieces. Now look at the orange. The orange is spherical. And then you just slice at the end. Just slice at the end. Eh? You have a small piece. Now, if you have those two pieces and you put them together, they give you an idea of what a lens is. What is which, is which screen are you sharing? Are you not seeing the screen? Yes, we are, we are, we are only seeing the. We're only seeing files. Files over there. Files. No, we, it is no windows. Blender. Is PowerPoint. PowerPoint, you will see Zoom 1. No, no, Lens, Zoom 1. Share, share the PowerPoint screen. I've already shared. Let me share. You uh, see, it is reading a screen sharing. We only seen files. You are not seeing the. Content. We are seeing applications. Catholic, Cam, Eric. Extra no, time. you are going to the files that you don't. We are here. There. We can't see. Yeah. Yes. Can't yes. See. No, we can't no, see. see. Now we can see. Now we can see. Now we can see. Now we can see. You can see. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Yes, yes, visual. Chai, you have muted. You can't hear. I'm not going to see you. I'm not going to see you. I'm not going to see you. Oh. Hey, mask, Ju. Oh. Oh. Eh? Now, now, you you wait for a minute because you are sure you are seeing many documents, eh? Just wait for a minute. We can see the we can see, we can see the slides. Now we can see lenses definition. Definite. Eh? Oh my God! Okay. Okay. I'm I'm continuing now. I'm continuing. Yes. Lenses consist of pieces of glasses or of glass of thickness varying from the middle to the edge with spherical surfaces on one or both sides. So what does that mean? That at the back of your mind, you have pieces of glass. In some books, or even nowadays, we have plastic. So you can put glass stroke plastic. What are the key things in the definition? Thickness varying from the middle to the edge. That is one. Thickness varying from the, from the middle to the edge. Then what is another thing? With the spherical surface. So the surfaces are curved. Are curved. Either on one side or on both sides. That is what and how we define thin lenses. Types of lenses. Now I want you to look at types of lenses. Types of lenses. A lens which is thicker at its center than at its edges. 
a lens that is thicker at its center than at its edges converges light and is called convex lens. So we know now one of the two most common types. So you see, I'm narrowing myself to two most common types. Type one is it is thicker at its center than at its edges. That lens does what? Converge light or convex lens or converging lens. The second type, the lens which is thicker at its edges than at its center. The second type is thicker at the edge and very narrow at the center. Hmm. Light and it is known as concave lens or diverging lens. Mm. If you are asked to name two types of lenses which are most common, then it will be convex lens and concave lens. It's important to finish with the word lens. Why? In mirrors, curved mirrors, we also have convex and concave. In mirrors, it is a concave mirror that converges, whereas a convex mirror diverges. So it's important okay. what? to assess lens and mirror. Okay? A convex lens converges. A concave lens diverges. Now we move on. Let us look at. Excuse me, teacher. Teacher. Yes. What have yes. you said about the, about the concave and the convex mirrors? A concave mirror. Converges. Eh, hey, Olimu. Concave yes. converge. Or convex. Con concave mirror converges. Mira. Eh, hey, yeah, yeah. Eh, hey, wasama hey, mira, wasama mira. Eh, hey, kosa, kosa. Yeah, okay. Eh. Hey. Now, you write. Listen, you write your questions, then I will give time for questions, so you cannot interrupt me. You, you, you write somewhere question, which I'll give you time to ask at some interval. Now, look at the definition and the roles in the definition. Those who were jumping to ask question. Converging lens converges. So you can see from the definition, I am now trying to make it more clear using diagrams. The rays that come to the lens, a converging lens, are brought together what we call convergence. You can check now. The other one is diverging lens. So I am repeating, you cannot answer question fully if you don't tell us converging, uh, concave lens, con convex lens, or it is concave mirror, convex mirror. You must put either it is a mirror or it is a lens. 
So, listen, you can see I'm trying to concretize what was in a form of words to what is reality of what happens. I want you to note the race after going through the lens in case of diverging lens. Get some difference. The rays go through in case of lens, but in case of mirrors, they are reflected. Look at the divergence here. This is a real ray where I am pointing. This is a real ray, but we extend them backwards to get this point here because the real rays seem to be moving apart. When rays seem to move apart on one side, the opposite side, you can get the point where they emerged. At the same time, I'm drawing your attention to comparison of convergence using two convex lenses. This is still, in a sense, trying to play around with the definitions to make that picture of a lens clear. So here we are. I'm trying to show you that this convex lens is very thick in the middle compared to the second one. By definition, convex is thicker at the center than at the edges. So both are basically convex lenses, but I'm drawing your attention to the way they would converge rays that go through them. Okay, we can move on. We can move on now. We get more. Now, before I go to properties of lenses, I want you to have an ordinary way of looking at a convex lens and how it came about. You have a spherical ball or you have an orange. The spherical ball would not be a good example for me because the inside is empty. But, but in an orange or a tomato is a continuous body even inside. So take an take, uh, example of an orange. If you cut an orange, slice it towards one end, imagine the orange is resting on the table and your cut is vertical. So you cut it vertically down towards one end. You have a small piece. If you do that to another orange or on the opposite side of the orange, and you put together the two pieces, they give you an example so that you can conceptualize what is a convex lens. So we are moving with a picture in mind. And now let us face properties of lenses. I'm going to dwell on optical center, center of curvature, principal focus, principal axis, and focal length. So we want to look at one at a time still giving more meaning to the lens. Optical center. You can see on a small diagram here, I have an example of a convex lens. Now, optical center is the geometrical center of a lens. 
I want you to understand now mathematics, geometrical center. In form two, we were trying to get center of gravity. Do you remember how we were getting center of gravity? Yes. You can, you can have a square and connect, connect, connect from one point with a line straight to the opposite side. The intersections of those lines give you geometrical center. Back to our lens. If you draw a horizontal line here, and you draw a vertical one here, it gives you a geometrical center. So optical center then, using maths and physics, is a geometric center of a lens which is usually shown using a black dot. I've shown you a black dot. What else do you need to know? A ray traveling through the optical center passes through in a straight line. So anything that will come straight to this center, it emerges continuously in the same version. Okay? Now, up to there, you can shoot question before I move on. Any question? Right. We go to the second one. We're going to the second one. Center of curvature. A question so, from me again. Question? Who has a question? You can ask. Ask a question. I'm giving you 10 seconds. No question. Center of curvature. From Rada. Rada. Rada Sasi leso ni mejuati Modi ya yuko Modi Modi ya yuko Modi ya yuko Na fa kuisha po forty. Ah, elma kamna yo kamna yo.
kale waliamua kuchukua kuchukua break mapema bana ni mimi solo naona mambo msana na pole pole jeus considering to share for us ana kwanza hiyo dada ndio tumeshinda kusoma tunajua bana white coffee ametoka katuko kwa nini safi ni twaje properties kuna ni katuko ni bunzi gai mimi nije ni mwana na bunzi ana tupeleka pole pole bana area cubes eh kitu katara men wewe Ekiu kwa ida zake tano. Wish, wish. Yaani tumekava subtopic moja na nusu hisa yote. Ah, subtopic moja ijafika. Ani aji matendo kava cha. Sasa ni leo shanga koko eh. Sasa shanga. Eh white koko. Wallahi tulete webs. Sijana mwenye webs ufunza. Oh, Tuesday yeah, 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 yeah. webs yeah, kwa yeah, kwa yeah, kwa yeah, kwa 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 Asiyeke akima bosi ile. Jere ngi hapo funza bana. Eh, you see you take over. You see take over. Eh, kamunya kwa wapi? Nzee ende my electrostatic kwa nyumbani. Mzee aruka ende uzo topic zo huko nyuma bana. Kende uko nyuma bana. Oma planks constant. Eh. Ende uko bana. Hii hapa hii masiji ma lens. Ilan solo aradi. Mzee amerudi. Mzee radangi kitu. Sisi na sky buda wanasema nini? Ah, pedi wa runda. Ndio huyo. Adai kuboti. Zanga hapo. Kwa ni ile juju. Kuna embassy ni kuna mzai. Eh bea. Watai gani? Chemetika. Ni tekwa na kuna na tuweke zile YouTube video zake wale. Zile zinafukanga views mbaula. Hata mbaula zinafika kwa na wasembaula ni wenye mapero ameambia hebu go watch. Eh kwanza ako na channel kwanza. Yeah. Eh ndio ndio dicho bana. Ndio tunaongelea. Ana na kwa
<sighs> Achille, you look very sleepy. Are you ready for bed? Oh, you've chosen a bedtime story. <laughs> Your friends! They're in the story! Akili, can you show us the first word? Hmm. Kids, is that the first word? No! Ah, is that the first word? Yes! Well done, Akili! And well done, kids! You found the first word I'm on the page! Me. Ouch. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm.
Can we continue now? Yes, Mwali. Everyone who hears can say yes. Yes, we can yes. hear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I hope yeah. this is not interference from your side. No. It's yours. No. It's your network. No. Anyway, let us continue. Center of curvature, geometric center. So when we say geometric, it means you can draw something. There could be lines there. There can be angles. So try to get is geometric center of the circle. But when we are talking about optical center, optical center, ni kusema tiari una lens katikati. Here, we are looking at the surfaces. So you can see this surface have extended like that. And you can see the dot is the center of this circle. Now, this other curved part, even if you extend it like that, you will also get its center somewhere here. So it is a geometric center of the circle. Ile ya kwanza ni geometric center of the lens. Since lenses have two surfaces, there are two centers of curvature. So we are approaching it from two circles. A circle must have a center. So circle one has center one, circle two has center two. How did I get the circles? Because of those surfaces, I completed them. So I have completed one, you can also complete the other to have the figure of center two. But as we move on, we will not be using the two, but they will be very useful, especially in the concave diverging. So we have done optical center. We have done center of curvature. Number three, we are looking at the property principal axis. This is an imaginary line which passes through the optical center at right angles to the lens. So I want you to get the idea of right angle to the lens. Where does it come from? Let us look at this lens. Let us look at this lens. I hope you remember my example. Put an orange on the table, chop one end. Then come and chop the left. So I have two pieces, eh? a chopped piece on the right, and then a chopped piece from the left side. When you bring those two pieces together, you tend to have the idea of a line. Okay, so there is a line. Now, here, look at this. From the top here, 
to the bottom. If you make a line, a straight line, you will get what I am talking about. So this is imaginary line. You can also think of how many lines does, how many diameters does an orange have? Very many. You can also try to figure it from that. Okay? So it is an imaginary line which passes through the optical center at right, right angle to the lens. So the right angle is not drawn there. But in a subsequent example, I'll give it. Number four, principal focus. Where did we come from? Optical center. Then center of curvature. Then principal axis. And now we are talking of principal focus. In some book, it is called focal point. So this is a point through which all rays traveling parallel to the principal axis pass after refraction through the lens. Okay? Uh, uh, you have to be figuring things because we are laying a foundation. So do not forget some key things in the previous example. Because I am now incorporating principal axis having been addressed in property number three. So this is a point. Key thing, this is a point. What the, is the significance of this point? That rays which are traveling parallel to the principal axis. And the principal axis, by the way, should not be perceived as being horizontal, even though we tend to use a horizontal line. It is for the purposes of understanding, but it is imaginary. You have very many lines, imaginary lines. I said, just think of diameters, very, very many. So principal focus, key word in definition is a point through which rays parallel to the principal axis pass after refraction. In mirrors, we also have principal focus, but we don't say the rays pass through the mirror. No. We say they pass after reflection. So get key things and don't mix yourself. A lens has a principal focus on both its side. Why? Because of those two curved surfaces. When we talk of curvature, it gives you an idea of the curved surface. It must have come from a big circle. F is used to de denote the principal focus. Capital F, my friend, capital F. So let us look at this. I've drawn one ray and this is the principal axis. The one which I've not put an arrow to distinguish and connect with my definition. I've drawn one ray here, and then it passes through. Then you, it meets at some point F. This is the point we call principal focus or focal point, okay? Now I want you, during your practice, you can draw a second one, either on the upper side 
or on the lower side and see if you've gotten the definition right. Now, let us draw our attention to this. This is a diverging lens, diverging lens. Now, if this ray comes here, it will be diverged. If another one also comes, it will be diverged. So the real rays after refraction are diverged. Meaning that we have to extend the real rays backwards to give us the focal point. Now, I want to go to focal length. So where have we come from? One, optical center. Two, center of curvature. Three, principal axis. Four, principal focus. Five, focal length. What is focal length? This is a distance between. Now we are talking of a distance. Where did we come from? Focal point or principal focus. There we addressed a point. And what happens at that point? The last property is focal length. Is denoted by letter small f. And this is the distance between the optical center and the principal focus. Is a distance. Again, I have tried to show. I have tried to show. Remember, optical center, I said we will use a dot. It is a geometric center of the lens. This is the lens and this is the geometric center. This is another lens, this is the geometric center. So from there to principal focus or focal point, capital F, the distance is denoted by small f. I want you to ask any question up to that, Otherwise, because of interruption, I've extended by three minutes. Go ahead. <laughs> so you have said a lens has more than one principal focus because it has more than one curved surface. You have yes. Said yes. It yes. has two. It two has two. Surfaces. It has two? Two what? Curved surfaces. Does it have two or... Infinite. It has two. Okay. Just, just mute a, mute a bit. I help you. Mute a bit. I help you. Do you see, see the diagram? See this diagram. The lens is shaded. The okay. lens is shaded. Uh -huh. On the right hand oh, side, see. there is a curve. And on the left hand side, there is also a calf. So those are the two calves. If you come to the second type of lens, can you see it has another curve on the left and another curve on the right? Now go ahead with your question. Go ahead. So me, I'm asking, you have, I'm just confirming that what you have said that the lens has two principal foci because it has more, it has two curved surfaces. Yes. That, um, so, so, that's okay. Yes. Now principal focus, kwa lugha ingine tunasema, focal point. Kwa sababu inatokana na hizo, sakombili. Any question 
folks mwalim mwalim yes excuse me sir yes uh, what is a focal plane a focal plane we shall deal with the next time okay yes now briefly what it means what it means are you following yes sir what it means briefly there is a plane where many things many rays can converge look at the diagram that i have here look at this diagram i've shown you this part but suppose it was going like that suppose the rays were going like this they would also meet somewhere so at different points you may get convergence sasa ikiwa uki consider focal point ya kwanza ugeuze principal axis he the, the one we are using is horizontal are we together si diameter ziko nyingi the diameter is nyingi wacha hii ya horizontal so plane where focal points fall ndio sasa inaitwa focal plane but i will cover it next nitakuonyesha next it is our next lesson okay thank you now if there is no question we meet yeah. next friday yeah same time yeah. bye bye yeah. what i want you bye to bye. do what i want you to do yes. is to subscribe to the youtube channel so that you keep on revising from 1 from 2 to 3 4 it is everything i put there even okay, this yes, sir. yes sir immediately immediately what do you call yourself yes immediately now immediately yes yes what do you call yourself <laughs>